I recently made a tutorial explaining how to mine for bitcoins at home super easily with none of the complex BS you normally have to deal with. NiceHash, the program I used in the video for mining, decided to check the calendar and realized it was almost 2018, so maybe they should update their user interface. It looks beautiful, but unfortunately my old video isn't so useful anymore, so let's go ahead and recap everything I talked about there and how to start mining today on your computer using NiceHash 2.0. To kick off the tutorial, let's quickly go over mining and what it is. First, you need to understand what Bitcoin is. I'll leave an awesome video right here and in the description for you to watch. Mining Bitcoins, to keep it extremely simple, is when you sell your computer's processing power in order to process Bitcoin transactions around the world. It is much more complex than this, but I'm going to keep everything easy to understand in this video. The goal when you're mining is to solve some type of complex problem or issue, but these problems can take months or years to solve alone. So this is where a mining pool like NiceHash comes into play. NiceHash is going to put together tons of different people's computers in order to solve these problems quickly then they will distribute payment in bitcoins based on the amount of contribution each person gave. In order to mine, you don't really need a powerful computer, you just need a very powerful graphics card. I'd recommend having a GTX 1060 and higher or the AMD equivalent. I'll leave a link to some dope ass graphics cards in the description. If you have a laptop, please do not mine. Laptops almost never have powerful enough graphics cards and when they do, they don't have good enough cooling to not cause permanent damage to your system. If you have a Mac, don't mine. NiceHash does not offer a program for Macs because they aren't powerful enough to do it. If you have any form of Intel integrated graphics, don't mine. So please don't ask me in the comments if it's good for mining. Okay, shut the hell up, Henry. Let's get started. The first thing you need to mine Bitcoins is a Bitcoin wallet, assuming you want to get paid. A wallet is how you receive payment, store Bitcoins, and eventually cash them out to your bank account if you want to do so. You can use whatever wallet you want, but if you're brand new to Bitcoin, I'd recommend using Coinbase since it's extremely easy to set up, buy and sell Bitcoins, and it's a great central place for Ethereum, Litecoins, and Bitcoins. It's just really nice having everything in one location, and you can even hook up a real life Visa debit card to it. I will leave a referral link in the description for Coinbase, where if you buy or sell $100 in Bitcoins, each of us will get an additional free $10. It's free money. Next, we need to get the nice hash program on your computer. Go to their official download page, which I will leave in the description. Go ahead and download and install the program. It's extremely common for antiviruses to pick up nice hash as a threat, but this is a false positive, so add an exclusion in your antivirus. I promise you it's safe. So here's the main program. The UI is honestly beautiful. Let's go ahead and explore it. First thing you're gonna need to do is input your Bitcoin wallet address here so you can get paid. If you have Coinbase, log in, go to Wallets, and click Receiving Bitcoin Address, and copy and paste your address into NiceHash, and click Save. If you have another wallet that's not Coinbase, you're going to have to find your address within that program, and then paste it into NiceHash. Go to Worker. This is just the name of your device, so you can identify what device is mining. It's not required, but can you imagine if you didn't name your baby? Come on! Next, go to Configure. Here are your main settings. You can select language and currency here, select the server in here which is closest to you, and this is completely personal preference but avoid touching it at first. Under mining, you can have NiceHash only mine when your computer is idle, in other words for not being used, which is dank as hell. You can auto start mining when you open the program, and they just recently introduced fan control so NiceHash will manage your GPU fans for you. I'd recommend leaving logging enabled, so if you ever encounter issues, you can troubleshoot it online by providing logs. You don't need to touch the advanced settings, so let's just leave it alone. Back to the main page, click hardware details, and let's optimize NiceHash to make us the most Bitcoins. First, decide if you want to mine with your CPU in addition to your graphics card. If both are enabled, you will get more Bitcoins, since NiceHash will use both devices to mine simultaneously. If you don't want to wear out your CPU and only use your graphics card, just disable CPU here. Your graphics card will most likely do the most work, and your CPU is supplemental, so keep that in mind when you decide to use your CPU. Next, click Benchmark All and click Precise for NiceHash to test all the algorithms and tell us which one will make you the most Bitcoins. This will take a very long time, so be patient. Go watch an Apple keynote or, I don't know, maybe my guide to become anonymous online. When it's finally done, it's going to show your estimated Bitcoins per day. You can leave these 
all enabled, since Nicehash automatically selects the fastest ones, but I personally disable the absolute slowest ones and leave the top five or so enabled. Go back and you guys are completely good to go. Click start and you're gonna start mining. Congrats, you're now a Bitcoin miner. To view how much money you have and payment dates and all the stats and deets, click view stats online right here and here is the web page for your information. The web page is based on the Bitcoin address provided. If you change your wallet address inside Nicehash, this page is going to change as well. But you can change every other setting in Nicehash and the link will not change. That's going to wrap up how to get started so you can successfully start mining. Now I'm going to go over some things I found useful to know from my experience mining which no one ever told me about. First, mining is extremely hard on your graphics card so be cautious. It's your baby. Have your fans blowing to keep your computer cool to avoid long term damage. Actively check your computer temperatures to make sure nothing is getting too hot, and do keep in mind that mining may shorten the life of your graphics card. I personally don't think it's a huge deal since I plan on upgrading my graphics card every two or three years, but if you're planning on keeping your graphics card for a long time, more than three years, mining may prevent you from doing so. To treat your graphics card better, avoid mining in high temperatures, and don't mine 24-7. I personally mine 12 hours a day from around 10 p.m. to 10 a.m. so it stays nice and cool and it doesn't run the entire day. Second, after I started mining, I checked my Coinbase wallet address and realized that it was different than the one I put inside Nicehash originally. I freaked out thinking all the hours I put into mining were yawn. But don't be scared, you didn't mistype your address and lose all the bitcoins you mined. Coinbase changes your wallet address occasionally and it still saves all of your previous addresses linked to your account so don't freak out like I did. It is completely normal for that to happen. Just make sure you copy and paste the correct address the first time. Third, realize that you're doing something freaking awesome. We need miners out there in order to keep Bitcoin alive. You're one of the first people to even know what Bitcoin is, not to mention being involved and becoming a huge part of it. So don't forget the big picture and realize you are giving back a tremendous amount to the cause. So good for all of you and welcome to the awesome Bitcoin community. And that's going to be a wrap, everybody. I hope this video helped you out, and if it did, give it a big like and definitely subscribe to the channel. Don't forget to follow me on all my social media for channel updates, and if you have any questions, feel free to leave them below. Thank you all so much for watching, and have an absolutely phenomenally, amazingly, lemuricious day.